Qatar's Emir and Prime Minister have met with Germany's Foreign Minister in Doha. Qatar has strongly condemned the storming of Jordan's embassy in Sudan. Sheikh Jassim has submitted a final bid at the 11th hour to acquire Manchester United. And finally, Qatar's national team coach has unveiled the squad for the Gold Cup training camp. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Germany's Foreign Minister Annalena Baerbock arrived in Doha for meetings with Qatar's Emir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani and Prime Minister and Foreign Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdurrahman Al Thani. In a press conference between the two foreign ministers, the officials spoke about enhancing cooperation across the energy and humanitarian sectors. The ministers also touched on the reinstatement of Bashar al Assad to the Arab League, noting that a just solution that pleases the Syrian people must be found. Qatar's Ministry of Foreign Affairs has strongly condemned the storming and vandalism of the Jordanian embassy and Kuwaiti military office in Sudan. The ministry calls for the protection of diplomatic missions and to prosecute the perpetrators. To date, Qatar has evacuated 1,044 residents and delivered various shipments of essential aid and food to the country. Now, Sheikh Jassim bin Hamad Al Thani has upped his final offer for English Premier League side Manchester United at the 11th hour in an attempt to beat British billionaire Sir Jim Ratcliffe in the race. Sheikh Jassim is looking to buy out the legendary club in its entirety for a price close to £5 billion, which includes wiping out the the club's debt and dedicating a fund to it and its surrounding community. And finally, three months after being appointed coach of Qatar's national football team, Carlos Quiriz has made his first squad selection for the training camp ahead of the Gold Cup. A 26-player squad was announced with the former Real Madrid boss selecting new faces in the Al Anabi setup, leaving out several senior players. Quiriz also said that his dream is to qualify for the 2026 World Cup in North America with Qatar. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.